we are back. Well, for the past seven years, the piggy market in Westboro mm -hmm. has certainly been feeding us well with all things porcine and charcuterie based. Here to tell us about what they're up to and some things that we can make in our kitchen that are very seasonal is Dave Neal. Welcome. Thank you very Thank much. You so much. So how coming. has it been over at the piggy market? You guys are doing busy. great trade. Yeah. Very, very busy. Yeah. Well, now that you've got like that beautiful walkway. The, the square king. changed a lot yeah, for us. Yeah, definitely. when Winston Square came in, it just changed everything a lot more people see us we're a lot more visible to the streets so yes yeah. absolutely well, so yeah. Oh, sorry. No, no, I was going to say you're a lot more visible because people started talking about you. Yep. You have so many things that go on throughout the week that are specials for people. So what Stuff that you... people don't know as well. Yeah. yeah, so a few years ago we started baking our own, all our own breads in-house, all nut free because I have nut allergies. So good for people that have nut allergies, good for school, things like that. Mm -hmm. So we expand that to baking products as well. I brought a few of those in for you today. Mm -hmm. I love it. I this know, looks look like uh, pretty delicious and healthy. Yeah, but well, well, the chocolate maybe, maybe healthy. Yeah, not. there's a chocolate cinnamon chili brownie, uh, brown butter cookie, and seasonal uh, rhubarb muffin. There. Yes. See, that would be the healthy one. Yes. That would be the right. healthy one. Yeah, that's all right. delicious. Yeah. Though, so. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so the the idea behind the piggy market. Just give us a recap for anybody who hasn't been. Yeah. What's what was the what thinking? All local, mm -hmm. all artisanal. So we deal only Ontario and Quebec. We've actually branched away a little bit from that now. We have Vancouver Island sea salt because you can't get sea salt in Ontario. Mm -hmm. um, in our cheese cooler that's all dedicated local, um, we've gone as far away as Prince Edward Island now. Avonlea Cloth Bound Cheddar just won Best Cheese in Canada. Wow. wow. So a few like really, really delicious things that we can bring in. So you have your finger on the pulse of the every year there is a cheese competition. Are you mm -hmm. aware of this oh, cheese I'm competition? Oh, I'm aware. I'm a cheese There's lover. There's actually yes. two or three. Yeah. yeah. So okay. yeah. this year I brought one for you guys today, one Grand Prix at the Canadian che at the Cheese Awards for cow's milk. Okay, yep. that's amazing. And so you are going to make us something. Or you guys can make it if you want. Well, I've done I want to see work. Julie get busy here. I'm in. Okay. Yeah, she's, so she's this is your homemade cook. bread? This is our homemade focaccia okay. bread. Yeah, it's a rosemary. So we change our lunch menu at the store every week right now. So every Monday on our website, a new menu goes up Okay. for Lovely. the lunches, for sandwiches for the week, and for what we're doing for dinner every day. We do take home dinners. Um, that's that you can come terrific. in and pick up know, at 3 o'clock. That's so yeah. terrific. I'm so, so impressed. So you have options where people can like, walk in off the street, but you prefer people call ahead because that's... It's up to you. We have okay. enough for people to walk in, but call ahead, you know it's there. Yeah. So with us, it's always been a bit of an issue. Call us, make sure it's there. Yeah, that's right. Because we do sell out of things. We do it very small, very... It's here and then it's gone. Mm -hmm, so definitely. For okay. your sandwich, you have the focaccia bread. Yeah. You have a uh, brown butter. Ooh. Uh, caramelized onion. Lovely. Some sriracha mayonnaise and then turkey, tomato, and arugula. Okay. So that, you know, th what you're talking yeah, about yeah. Is, is a basic sandwich, but... A basic you're, sandwich, you're just all the ingredients are... really, really well done. So the turkey, yes. for example, we roast it in-house. It's a maple mustard glaze that we put on it. Yep. So you're getting flavor right in the meat right away. Uh, arugula gives you a little bit of spicy. The caramelized onion brings in a little bit of sweetness to it. The rosemary on the bread is going to give you a bit of bitter hint. And the tomatoes are going to give you your acid to bring it all together. Oh, see, it's see, a construction. I it's was a just construction say, site. And it's this. a blend of the flavors that's what puts you apart from everyone else. So you've actually thought of how it's not just throwing that sandwich together when we were kids and it was like, hey, get the white bread, <laughs> everything you could fill inside and just eat and yeah. run. Like you're here to enjoy. Yeah, I can't right. take all the credit. We've hired a very, very uh, talented chef lately. Um, R, he's been with us for a year. Okay. And he does most of the menus now. I've okay. kind of taken a step back. I take care of more of the charcuterie, the cheeses, everything like that. And RF's in charge of the kitchen. So I gotta no, give credit right. where it's due. Now okay. you guys, um, you say charcuterie, and of course that's one of my my great passions in life, a, yep. a well put together charcuterie board. Yep. What, where do you start? You start with the ingredients, so you always want to make sure you're using stuff that is local, that's tasty. Um, fresh is a relative term because you're using dried meats. Yes. Um, but you want to make sure they haven't been around for ages and ages. So, for yep. example, yeah. this one uh, comes from Niagara Food Specialties okay. in Niagara Falls. as a uh, mild cacciatore. It's absolutely there delicious. Oh, thank you. You're right. I should be displaying my sandwich <laughs> properly. Yes, because the kids won't eat it no. if you don't make it look pretty. <laughs> so if you guys want to try this right away, you're more of than welcome to. Of course I do. Try and stop yes. me. It's okay. uh, just a dried salami, cacciatore, Italian yeah. style. 
Mm. And one of the things a lot of people when they're doing their own charcuterie will cut it like this. You always right. want to go in a bias that looks bigger. Mm -hmm. Just little tricks like that. Little tricks are mm. good. Mm -hmm. So this one is beautiful. Yep. For people who don't know, there's um, different skins and, and finishes and, and smoking methods, right? Yep. This one would be what? This is just a dried, so it's been uh, it's a fermented sausage. So they start um, making fresh sausage, but then add some ingredients to help the fermentation process along. Then it's hung in a humid in a humidity controlled chamber. Um, it's also got temperature control for a period of uh, two weeks to two months, Amazing. depending on how long it okay. takes. Yeah. So what else would we, mm -hmm. yeah, th that was very good. By I the brought way some for. sliced mm -hmm. as well, also from Niagara Fruit Specialties. This one's called a San Gennaro salami. Um, so you can see as you pick it up, it's paper not thin. as coarsely fine. It's paper thin. It's got whole piece of meat protein in there as well. Okay. Uh, and that some people just lay flat, but you, what you can actually do is just curl it up a little bit and push it underneath and it becomes like a little rose. There we go. That eh? is so that nice. you're not just laying flat on the on the board. So now, you're kind of building th height as mm -hmm. you go. One of the things, because uh, I was in Spain, and of course they do charcuterie and yep. uh, all the various kinds of yemo, and there's actually Museo de Yemo, which is basically a, a museum yep. of ham meat. Museum. Yeah, <laughs> ham museum. But it's a store, right? Like, yep. And there's like 150 kinds of smoked ham. There's, there's ham that's been... Uh, like the pigs have only been fed uh, water chestnuts their whole life or, or oh, hickory nuts or whatever. Mm. I mean, it's crazy. But we can't get that here. We can't get that here. No. So what do we, we have that's that as good as that? As good, again, from Mario Pingue mm -hmm. in Niagara, from Dolce Lucano in Toronto, from Sea to Sausage in Charbot Lake. Sea to Sausage, mm -hmm. yeah. If you're on the Quebec side, I hate to say it because we can't really have it here. Um, Les Cochons Tout Ronde okay. is in Montreal, they're in Jean Talon Market. Anytime I go to Montreal, it's my first stop. They're Great. doing absolutely fantastic stuff. Great. So yeah. let's. What what cheeses have we got here? Cheeses. I brought you. So this is the Grand Prix winner. Um, best cheese in it Canada. Cow's milk stick cheese. Too long it doesn't stick <laughs> around. Small piece there. And you can see. Actually, we have two wheels of this coming in today, but you can okay. see as I'm oh, unwrapping. So that's, that's good to know. That's, that's the stuff that I had in, uh, just, in Halifax this weekend. Apart. So I want to get you guys to try that as well because. Absolutely fantastic. What I love about going into your shop is you could go in, it's 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 uh, small enough and not too small that when right away your staff is so friendly mm. that they're just like, really just are. tell us what yeah. you want to do. Yep. And then they've got mm. you set up in no time. No time at all. And you let us try everything, which is lovely mm -hmm. too. So my kids we're doing right here. You know, mm -hmm. So that one, mm -hmm. mushrooms, right off the top. Mm -hmm. oh, mushrooms, so butter, mm -hmm. cream, wow. earthy, absolutely fantastic. It is. It's amazing. It's unlike any other brie mm. that yeah. is currently available. Yeah. So that one's made uh, just kind of in between Montreal and Quebec okay. City mm -hmm. on the southern side of the St. Laurent at uh, from Rougeau de Presbyterre. So just before we uh, we wrap up here, uh, yeah. you guys are going to be involved in Westboro Fuse. We are. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What's we're, that uh, all about? We're actually going to a beer tent this year for a it. A beer tent. Yeah, we're going to be licensed for one I weekend approve only. of this. See. As as everything with the piggy market, local beers only. Yeah, that's so. going to be great. Fantastic. And you'll be able to take over Winston Square. Your we're taking set. over a little bit of it. Yeah, okay, we're going to have the barbecue out Wonderful. on our patio like we do every Sunday in the yeah. summer. Um, so we'll be doing barbecue, beers, Jamaican pies, of course. Yeah. Of course. Definitely. Because Warren. Yeah. Yes. And I was going to say, okay. definitely get on Twitter, get on Facebook. It's all there. You're magnificent about putting your specials on and Thank letting you. us know what's great. <laughs> And it's always fun to have this type of food, especially after the race weekend or a day just being outside, <laughs> just slather it out yeah, and, uh, exactly. and enjoy. Thanks so much for joining Thank us. Absolutely. Thank you.